Well, hello, good folk, and welcome back to the old curiosity shop and my 1925 bungalow restoration. Today's video is called It's Curtains for You. We're going to talk about curtains. That's right, we are going to talk about curtains. Let's get started. Now, I have two tubs full of 1930s curtains. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. However, I've only got one set of four matching panels. Now, in the living room, which is this, you can't see the front door is right there. Uh, but I've got two windows in the living room, and that's it. So I'm pretty much stuck just using one set of curtains that I've got because it's the only set that has four panels. So why don't I show them to you? Well, here's one panel. Here's two. Here's three. And here's the fourth, which I've already put on a piece of mounting hardware. Now, I will come up closely and let you see. We had a peek at these the other day. Uh, if you were watching, oh, I forget what I was doing. Uh, but I was asking, is this, is, a, is this a brocade? Is it a jacquard? Now, I had a couple very nice people say that it is a brocade, which is a type of a jacquard. I don't know. I just know it's from the 30s. So we'll just say a brocade jacquard. I really like the shiny coppery thread that's in there. This salmon color was enormously popular in the 1930s. Also a little bit of a chinoiserie pattern, I guess with, are they pagodas? Well, they could be. Perfect color. Um, the nice thing also is because this is a small house, these are not extremely dark drapes, so they're not going to sort of close in on the room and make us feel too stuffy and stifled. At least I don't think it will. Now, I've got some original mounting hardware. I've got four of these. And, of course, you can pull on it to extend it. Yeah, see? You, so you, you've got that. Oh, let me back up. So you can... Oh, I just pulled it out of there. Okay, that's okay, but I, I pulled it too far. No worries. <laughs> I've got to remount everything anyway, and yes, I will iron them, but right now, I don't know where my iron is. I'm lucky I can find clean underwear. I just moved. Okay, so here's how the hardware works. Of course, a lot of you probably remember this from your great-grandparents' house anyway. Now, here's the uh, mounting hardware, which I was thrilled to get with these curtains. And um, we will mount this up to the frame of the window, which enables you to swing the curtains open, you know, if you'd like to. Um, and these pieces will mount, as you know, excuse my posterior end. Uh, these will go right up here. I hope I don't fall on camera. Um, well, let's do this right. Okay, so it mounts right there. Can you go? I don't even know you can see what I'm doing. This is going to mount right here, yeah? And then there's going to be a second one that will mount right here, okay? So those wonderful salmon curtains are gonna hang all the way down. And that's not all, because I even have a set of four original polychromed 1930s era, you know, tie back thingies, whatever they are. And so I was consulting with my former college roommate who suggested that the tie back thing goes one third from the top or one third from the bottom. And I agreed with him that one third from the bottom makes it too dark and Victorian, but one third from the top 
uh, pulls the curtains back, lets a lot more light in. So that's what I'm going to be doing, mounting these. And I guess most of you probably already know this. What did I do with the, what on earth? When the curtains are hanging, From the window at the top, uh, without really having to fuss, you just pull them back. Well, and this hook, you see like that, pulls it back from the window. Okay, and then at night, if you'd like the curtains closed, um, you simply pull it out and across it goes. Now I know someone is gonna ask, these curtains are not lined. And I am not going to have them lined. A couple of reasons why. Even though it looks nice and bright, neither one of these windows receive any direct sunlight at all. Uh, the sun actually rises. Well, I'm, on a, I'm, on, I'm diagonal to north, south, east, west. So these windows are actually facing the northeast. It's a beautiful sunny day today, but we only get indirect light. All of the bright sunlight is on the other side of the house. I don't need to line these curtains, and I'm not gonna pay anybody to do it. It's gonna be just fine. They have been washed. They smell as fresh as downy. No, woolite, what's the stuff you, anyway, they're clean. They're not faded, and they don't have any rips or tears, and just look at that. So I think, that these colors are gonna be really nice in here. Again, not too dark. So let's go ahead and hang these bad boys. That's one set. Now I haven't put the tie backs on yet, but that gives you an idea how these curtains are gonna hang. I also forgot to tell you that that window is enclosed inside the porch, you know, so once again, uh, but okay, so they're up there. And then uh, you, can, you can swing them out on really cloudy days. But right now, let me get this back in there. So here's one of the polychromed, I keep calling it a tie back. I guess that's, I don't know what else to call it. So we'll go in here like this and I'm trying to decide, yeah, let's figure this out. What do you think so far? And remember, I've got blinds up there that come down anyway. Mm-hmm. Now, I consulted with my former college roommate who said that uh, more appropriate for the 1930s, and I agree with him, is to mount the tie backs or the curtain hold pullbacks uh, one third of the way down. Two thirds of the way down would really close the windows off. So I've measured these windows and one third of the way down would be about 20 to 21 inches to mount these. And so, Let's just take a look at what that would look like. We'll cut 
come down, let's come down to about, uh, yeah, we'll come down to about there. <clears throat> now, this is going to go right here like that. And when I want the curtains open during the daytime to allow light in, they would be pulled back to approximately there. Don't worry, I haven't fluffed and fluted and all that. We'll get to that, but that's about how far down one third of the way is. And we'll fiddle with it later. Let me get my head out of the way. And so, hold on for a second, because I don't have them hooked on there. Okay, so it's got, it would look something like, something like that. That's about right. And the other one, is that about right? Well, if it doesn't look right, we can blame my for, former college roommate. He won't mind. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I think this is going to work lovely. Uh, my goodness, yeah, this actually doesn't look bad. Take a look at that. All right, uh, well, what we're going to do is come over here and do the second window, and then I'll let you see the whole shebang. <laughs> well, the curtains are hung. Now, ignore the dangling light bulb. Although I imagine a lot of folks did have a simple dangling light bulb in the 1930s, I just have not installed any light fixtures yet uh, in this house. And as I said, I'm still bringing furniture over. Now I wanna tell you, I'm gonna go over to the curtains and let you see them close up. Just a note, and I know I say this in every video, but I keep getting comments about why did you put that chair there? Why do you have two lamps there? <laughs> I'm still moving. So nothing is really in any permanent spot. So that's the reason why you might see odd furniture arrangements. I'm just playing around and, you know, getting it all in here. Uh, so, but I want to tell you a couple things about the living room that are really shaping up. Here's my wonderful 1920s fireplace. Uh, thank you, Elizabeth. If you don't know, go back and you'll hear all about that in earlier videos. But I'm also going to show you the original gas logs. We solved the mystery. They're out on the porch, and we're going to talk about those gas logs again. Something that I haven't told you. This little guy, believe it or not, I don't know what they, what they sell for retail, but I picked up that little thing at the Goodwill for 20 bucks. Uh, with my senior discount and that's what I'm going to be using right now in the old fireplace which originally had gas gas fired is what I'm trying to say well let me just not try to say what I'm trying to say because I'm messing myself up um, I've got the old family clock and my great-great-grandparents on either side and then um, yeah, so there they are. Now, again, these are the two matching sets. We'll go in a little bit closer and let you see. There they are, all installed up at the top, you can see. And then these are the little tie back guys. It's really easy just to pull these out when, you know, you want the curtains closed at night. I closed the blinds because it's a sunny day and I thought you could see a little bit better if I pulled the shades down. 
the modern Hunter Douglas shades were here when I moved in. So we'll keep those. They're in really good condition. Uh, I still have a lot to do. Boy, do I have old draperies, and that's just one stack. I've got another tub down there full. Uh, and just, so there's no end here, yeah. Look at this one right here, isn't this fantastic? I even have more curtain hardware. So the next thing to tackle would be these three dining room, the three uh, windows here in the uh, dining room. And I still have to do the ceiling light. And uh, again, ignore, <laughs> um, ignore that. The table is a mess, stuff I'm working on for uh, my next online. Yes, I'm gonna actually get stuff back in the eBay store. I'm set up here working until I get my office set up. And I don't even know if I wanna show you this kitchen. This kitchen, oh my word, this kitchen. Yep, well, you can see where I'm headed. Gonna take me a while, but I guess I'll just go ahead and show you. Uh, I did come across this 1940s kitchen cabinet here, which I've taken all apart. I've got the drawers down here on the floor and uh, the doors at the top are these wonderful uh, glass doors. So I'm gonna be cleaning this cabinet and painting it. And I'm gonna do the same uh, color scheme on that as I have up here on the 30s cabinets here over the kitchen sink. So, um, yeah, and then that cabinet will sit up against this wall before you go down into the basement, which I'm still working on as well. Uh, I've got stuff all over the steps I've got to get up. And um, yeah, but uh, I did manage to completely rake and mow the backyard. So we have no, uh, leaves out there at the moment. They dare not fall on my fresh yard. So that's the progress here. Uh, a little disheveled, but uh, I'm getting there. Well, anyway, thank you for watching. I hope that the curtains meet with your approval and uh, it was fun to get them up there. So we'll see what happens uh, later on tonight when I pull them shut. It's probably gonna be nice and cozy. Well, that's it for now. I am Scott from the Old Curiosity Shop saying thanks for watching. Wait for the cat. And so long for now.